Hello fellow DJs from around the globe, I'm JP and this is my YouTube channel Real Life DJ where I try and produce useful, interesting, informative and above all free videos for DJs covering basically everything DJ related from equipment and training through to your very own DJ questions. In this video I'm talking about the fact that DJs in the UK are having their equipment confiscated by police for DJing at events that do not comply with the current COVID-19 restrictions that are in place. And additionally, if the DJ is also one of the event organisers, they're receiving fines of £10,000. Let's roll the intro. <laughs> Over the last few days in the UK, the police have been exercising the new COVID-19 powers introduced to help prevent the spread of COVID-19. These powers have meant that DJs performing at events that do not comply with the current restrictions have been having their DJ equipment that they are using confiscated. In some circumstances, the DJs have received fines of up to £10,000. In one case in Leeds in the UK on Saturday the 29th of August 2020, a couple of days ago, the DJ was actually also arrested. The new powers that police have been given are designed to help prevent and put off DJs and organisers from putting on illegal raves under the powers that were already in force in the UK and made under Anti-Social Behaviour Crime and Policing Act 2014. The police in the UK already have the power to confiscate items being used in antisocial behaviour. In these cases, the DJ's controller, laptop, sound system and lights are all being classed as items used in antisocial behaviour. Personally, I think it's a bit of a stretch and in my humble opinion, slightly unfair. But by the time you end up going to court, fight the case and if you win, and that is a very big if, then you may finally up, end up getting your equipment back. In the event you reach that stage, one, what state will it be in? Two, they don't pack it away. Three, it will most likely be thrown in the back of an evidence van and then in a storage unit somewhere. And four, if you don't win, let's say you lose the case, then you won't be seeing your equipment again. Not unless you want to buy it back from an auction as that is what exactly happens. In the UK, one city alone, they have issued over 500 COVID-19 fixed penalty notices. The government has decided that they want people who are not complying with those restrictions to be cracked down on. And I know for one, I don't want to have my equipment confiscated. I won't be doing any gigs currently unless they are private small parties that meet the restrictions. And I'm told they'll be complying. And when I'm at the event, if they're not, I will be off with my equipment well before the police arrive and cart it all away. I understand that many of you just want to go and DJ and party. Trust me, I completely understand that desire, the want, and in some cases, peer pressure, but you have to seriously consider the consequences of losing your equipment. Can you afford to lose your controller, laptop, PA system and lights? I know you probably won't want to, but please do hit the like button in this video, give it a share and let me know your thoughts in the comments. Personally, I don't want to lose my own DJ gear. It's too expensive. I do know that I'm going to produce a new document that is for my organiser of any events that I attend. It will be clearly stating that they are aware of all restrictions and they are themselves liable for any consequences should the event be found to be non-compliant. I think this is an important step forward to make them aware of the position. If the worst happens and I do get any grief, then at least it shows that I was under the impression all rules were being followed. If you're not yet subscribed to the channel, smash that subscribe button now. Just from my own viewpoint, I think that the powers that be should reopen clubs, allow parties, weddings without restrictions. I think this is because although infection rates have been going up, the death rates are not. And as such, let's start letting people enjoy life again. And as a DJ, it's our job 
to get that party started. So be ready for when the restrictions lift for what will be hopefully the biggest party that we have ever seen in our living history anyway. What are your thoughts on this situation? Have you been shut down at an event or do you know someone that has? Has anyone you know had their equipment confiscated? What are your views on all of this? The shout out in this video goes to Rewired Entertainment in Dorset in the UK. Go check out their Instagram account and give them a follow. It's about time we all support each other as much as we can. Whilst on the Rewired Entertainment's Instagram, I decided to follow their web link and had a look around. Nice clear website that shows exactly what they offer. If you are a DJ or in the DJ industry and have an active YouTube channel or Instagram or would like me to give you a shout out, then do let me know in the comments and I'll be more than happy to do so. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. It is really appreciated. Don't forget to press that like now if you've not done already. On a very serious note, if you've not subscribed to this channel yet, then now is the time to do so. And don't forget to turn on that bell. Until the next video, JP out.